All right, it's 5.30 and we have uh, close to 57 people in the house. Hello, everybody. Welcome to session one of MEG2 this year. And uh, let's get started. Maybe there are still a few on their way. We have a full house capacity up to 100. We are touching close to 60 now. So good for a start. So maybe before we get started, uh, let's spend a few more minutes watching a video. We'll get started soon. And uh, uh, today, our intention is just to get to know each other because we'll have 10 back-to-back -back sessions from today. Myself, Anand Krishnamurti. I'll be the academic counselor for MAG2 this year. And uh, I am hosting from RCC Kalur, which is in Cochin, Ernakulam. Some of you may have been in my classes before. Or for most of you, I might be a stranger. We'll get to know each other soon. Today is meant for that. Not only to get to know each other, but also to get started with, to break the ice, to know a few resources, what to look forward to. And uh, from tomorrow onwards, we'll get started with some detailing part and uh, we'll have some real fun learning British drama. And trust me, theater is such a rejuvenating space. So before we get started, maybe a couple of minutes more because there are so many people coming in and it's, it's a bit difficult for me to admit people while I'm lecturing. You know, I'm talking to you right now. I get 10 to 5 beeps here. So uh, a couple of minutes for others to join. Once again, for those who have joined late, I request you to have your cam off and your mics on mute. Unless and until it is required. Please have your camera off and uh, please have your mics on mute. We'll begin shortly. I'm sharing another wonderful video with you. The first one was just uh, a time breaker, nothing much, just a time past one. But now this is something that you would find to be a bit more interesting. A couple of minutes on that, and then we'll get back with our business. I request all those who joined late to have your cam off or your mics mute, both to be precise. All right. By the light of the moon, a group of youths sneak into the woods where they take mind-altering substances, switch it up romantically, and brush up against creatures from another dimension. A Midsummer Night's Dream sees Shakespeare get psychedelic, and the result is a treat in the theatre and on the page. First performed in the 1590s, this play is one of Shakespeare's friskiest works, filled with trickery, madness, and magic. Set over the course of one night, Midsummer progresses at a rollicking pace. The plot is structured around patterns of collision and dissolution, where characters from different worlds are thrown together and torn apart. Shakespeare uses these patterns to mock the character's self-obsession and question authority with a comic twist. The action is set in ancient Greece, but like many of Shakespeare's plays, it reflects his contemporary concerns. The magical setting of the woods at night disrupts the boundaries between separate groups with bizarre results. Here, the bard plays with the rigid class system of his own time, taking three distinct groups and turning their society upside down in a world where no mortal is in control. The play opens with young Hermia raging at her father Aegeus and Theseus, the king of Athens, who have forbidden her to marry her lover, Lysander. Hermia has no interest in her father's choice for her of Demetrius, but her best friend Helena definitely does. At their elders, Hermia and Lysander elope under cover of darkness, with Demetrius in hot pursuit. This is further complicated by Helena's decision to follow them all into the woods in the hope of winning Demetrius's heart. At this point, the woods are getting crowded, as the lovers are sharing the space with a group of rude mechanicals, a troop of workers drunkenly rehearsing a play, led by the jovial Nick Bottom. Unbeknownst to them, the humans have entered into the world of the fairies. Despite their magical splendor, Oberon and Titania, the king and queen of the fairies, have their own romantic problems. Furious at his inability to control Titania, the jealous Oberon commands the trickster, Puck, to squeeze the juice of a magical flower over her eyes. When she wakes up, she'll fall in love with the first thing she sees. On his mission, 
Puck gleefully sprinkles the juice over the eyes of the napping Demetrius and Lysander and transforms Bottom's head into that of a donkey for good measure. As eyes flicker open, a night of chaos commences that includes broken hearts, mistaken identity and transformations. Out of all the characters, Bottom probably fares the best. When the bewitched Titania lays eyes on him, she calls on her fairies to lavish him with wine and treasures and sweeps the transfigured donkeyman off his feet. Pluck the wings from painted butterflies to fan the moonbeams from his sleeping eyes. Nod to him, elves, and do him courtesies. While magic is the catalyst to the action, the play reflects the real drama of the things we do for love and the nonsensical behavior of the people under its spell. The moon overlooks the action like a silver bow, signifying erratic behavior, the dark side of love, and the bewitching allure of a world where the usual rules don't apply. Although the characters eventually come to their senses, A Midsummer Night's Dream raises the question of how much agency we have over our own daily lives. But it's not the more realistically rendered lovers, rulers or workers who have the last word, but the impish puck who queries whether we can ever truly trust what we see. If we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here, while these visions did appear. And in so doing, he evokes the effect of entering into the magical world of great theatre, that plays with the boundary between illusion and reality, and dramatizes the possibility that life is but a dream. Want more Shakespeare? Check out our Why You... I'm Anand K, Academic Counselor for British Drama this year, from RCC Cochin, Ernakula. So let's get started. And uh, you were watching a clip from The Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare, which is prescribed for study. You may have gone through that from our study materials in all probability. So uh, today's session, as I had told you before we played that clip around, I told you is intended to get to know each other, first of all. And after that, I also would like to discuss with you where you stand in terms of your assignment or course progression, etc. And uh, I would also like to share with you a few resources which you can depend upon apart from the classes that I have for you. As you may be aware, we have 10 classes, of, to be specific, 10 sessions of two hour each. And uh, or on, after those 10 days, uh, or that's the only limit that you have for getting the MEG sessions. So you have 10 sessions and as academic counselors, uh, we are generally not supposed to teach. We are not supposed to give you a lecture on Hamlet or a lecture on Midsummer Night's Dream. Rather, the academic counseling sessions are meant to discuss your doubts, especially pertaining to your assignments, as well as, uh, in certain cases, your what may be called as your uh, exam queries. But then, because we know that you are distant learners and you do have problems uh, regarding uh, comprehending literature due to various reasons, including, for example, you are from another branch. Uh, we do understand those concerns, and that's why we attempt briefing a few uh, plays here and there, just so that you could appreciate it a little bit more. All right. So, guys, I was trying to tell you that uh, we will still try to, uh, you know, get rid of the barrier that online mode presents to us. But nonetheless, we'll have some interesting sessions over the next two weeks. And uh, today, my next focus is to introduce to you certain areas which you can depend on to learn. <clears throat> as you know, uh, you're all distant learners, and there is always a limitation as far as you're concerned. Uh, you only get 10 classes from IGNU. And if you want to know further about the topics, there are plenty of barriers, also considering the fact that most of the states are going for a lockdown due to COVID. So I'm going to share a few resources with you. To begin with, I started today's class by showing a video on Midsummer Night's Dream. That video, or videos of that kind, it's not only about Midsummer Night's Dream. There are plenty of videos on that channel, including why to read Hamlet, or why should you read Dostoevsky, or why should you read Leo Tolstoy, and so on and on and on. And the channel is called Ted Ed. 
TED Ed is a channel that comes under TED Talks groups, the TED group, and they make a lot of educational videos from various domains. The link is there in your chat box. So that's one link that you can depend on to have a quick, a capsule format understanding of the topics that you come across. Similarly, there is another channel that I want you to be familiar with. I'll show a few videos here and there when we get to certain topics tomorrow and the day after. This site is called Crash Course. There is a site called a YouTube page called Crash Course. And the link that I have shared is about theater. So they have a, a section on Crash Course Theater, beginning from the inception of theater, covering a few plays that you have to learn, certain features like expressionism or symbolism or absurdity, uh, melodrama and so on, surrealism and so on. There are plenty of videos available in that channel. You may go back and as and when you get time, delve deep into the various facets of theater or drama to be precise. And uh, all right. Mm, yep. Another site that I want you to be familiar with, very importantly, is a site called bok.org. Sharing the link with you in the chat box. I'm going to share my screen with you and show you how BOK works, just in case you don't know about BOK. Uh, this is going to be absolutely useful for you, and that's why I'm spending some time on that, especially those who have not submitted your assignments yet. You may find this extremely resourceful. I hope you are able to see my screen, titled Z Library. This is b-ok.org. If you type that address, if you follow the address, you will be taken to this Z Library platform. You can download any book in PDF format from Z Library. I'll give you an example. I'm typing Hamlet because that's a play you have to study. Click search. You will come across books which are original, studies. This is manga edition. Manga means illustrated classics. You may be familiar with Balarama, Balabumi, Magic Pot, Chanda Mama, etc. So it's like that. Hamlet in pictorial depictions. I'll show you that in a while. Then there is this Harold Bloom critical series. That's there for most of the works, especially novels. Harold Bloom critical edition, which is a critical study of Hamlet. Then there is the original play studies on them. Then there is this work by A.C. Bradley, which is quite popular. Character criticism is what that book does. So Hamlet, Macbeth, or the Low King Lear, a detailed study of these characters. Then there is Cliff Notes, if you want to have a summary. Then there is this book by Penguin. Then uh, there are plenty of books. It's not only about Hamlet. If I can even search, for instance, Tom Jones, first novel that you have to study in MEG3. See, Tom Jones by Henry Fielding. Yeah, plenty of books, case studies, and so on. Cliff Notes, Spark Notes, and uh, a lot of interesting uh, links you may come across while doing that search. Another interesting search would be Waiting for Guru. See, the entire original play, the study of the play, again, Bloom's critical interpretations. Then you have the paraphrased editions, cliff note version. Then there is this summaries or uh, analysis, collection of essays and so on, on the same theme. So you may depend on BOK, just in case you want resources and you are stuck in lockdown and you can't go to a library, bok.org is one site which would appear to be a savior for you. I'm just taking you to the manga edition. Oh, I'm sorry. I, if I have to download this book, if I have to show it to you, it seems. Just give me a second. I'll download that and uh, maybe share my screen once again. Just give me a second. It's taking a bit of time to get downloaded. Doesn't matter. Let's not waste time. So BOK is one site that you can depend on. Another site is Library Genesis, Libgen. Uh, link may vary. You may check for Libgen. And they'll show you the servers of Libgen. You can download books from Libgen if you want to, just like BOK. The BOK is a bit more dependable. Because BOK will also show you similar books to download. So you can depend on BOK or Libgen if you want to download. 
uh, any sort of books, any number of books and materials uh, from the catalog. And uh, before I take you to the next link, let me just uh, get a couple of things ready. These are going to be immensely useful for you when it comes to learning. And, all right. So this is the manga edition. If you can see my screen, it is an illustrated classic. Covering the entire play. This illustrated through pictures. This is how actually the play begins. Has this thing appeared again tonight? And uh, they call Horatio and then they ask the ghost to speak. It does not speak to the guards. That's how the play proceeds. In a pictorial manner, the entire play is being depicted in the manga classic. It's not only about Hamlet, plenty of Shakespearean works have come in the manga edition. All right. So you may depend on that if you feel like. So that's one more uh, reference for you. Another huge repertoire for you, just in case you think these classes are not, I mean, these academic counseling sessions are not sufficient enough and you want to read a bit more, or if you'd be happy listening more to other people, I have a huge repertoire for you. Just in case you are not familiar with that yet, I'd love to share with you a page titled EPG Parshad. I'm sharing the link with you in the chat box. It is a server where you, if you scroll down, you will come across a lot of course categories. You have to choose English, which is your subject. And when you choose English, all right, I hope you can see my new screen. There are plenty of papers, almost 16 papers. Some of them you have to study. For example, literary criticism and theory is MAG5 for you. Some of them you will have to look up and you have to figure out where it is. So English literature, 1590 to 1798. You will come across topics like introduction to Shakespeare, tragedy, Shakespeare's comedy. You don't have to study that. Then you have a lot of interesting things. Christopher Marlowe, Dr. Faustus, it's prescribed for study. Uh, I think it's book two in you. Then Ben Johnson, Webster, Spencer, Sidney John Dunn, Andrew Marvel, John Milton, so on and on and on, until Daniel Defoe. Samuel Richardson, William Congreve, and on and on and on. So if you choose an option, here I've opted for introduction to Shakespeare, there'll be three options in front of you. The first one is e-text, that is by default. It is a PDF where you will have a book to read. Uh, it'll be barely 12 to 15 pages generally, unless and until the subject demands. Here you can see there, is, there are 14 pages. So you scroll down, you can see there is a detailing of uh, you know, an introduction to Shakespeare about features of Shakespearean drama, what led to it, the social political scenario, and so on and on and on. So that will help you have a deeper insight into what you're trying to do. And generally, they are simpler in me. It's not a difficult thing. You have extra resources and learn more. If you type learn more, there will be a list of resources that you can depend on. Maybe it's taking some time to load. Please don't feel bad about that. Uh, but then if you click learn more, there will be a list of resources. Self-learning is about video. When you click self-learning, you will get a video related to that topic. Generally, the subject expert must be, might be from some university in India or IITs and MITs. NIT, sorry. So uh, you will get these videos and... Uh, that's another source point that you may refer to. Uh, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an instance. If you're able to see my tab, a YouTube link. This is the video that we, that we were watching there. I'm not going to play the entire video. Don't worry. All right. So this is about, um, you know, an introduction to Shakespeare and... Uh... 
Welcome to EPG Paatshala. In this paper, Dr. Neeru Thandan is from VSSD College, Kanpur. So she is going to speak about the entire thing. So I'm going to share a link where you can access all these videos. All these videos from uh, EPG Paatshala or in Flipnet. The link is there in your chat box. You can go back to it and as and when you feel like you can have a look at all those videos. They are generally updated on an annual or biannual basis. So it's always ideal that if you have sufficient inter internet, you download these videos. Because if the server is in a uh, updation stage, what happens is that uh, these videos get deleted and maybe for three, four months, you don't get to watch these videos. So if you want to always have an access to these videos, download these videos and save it in your hard drive or whatever source you have. And uh, yeah, another resource that I would like to share with you is the NPTEL Reservoir and the IIT Kanpur Reservoir. These are two things that you may find some interest in. And uh, the following links that I'm trying to share with you would be of immense help to you. The NPTEL reservoir, it's taking some time to load. Please be patient. I think there are some network stability issues here. All right. So the NPTEL server link is something I've shared with you right now. So you can use that as well. And also there is this IIT Kanpur link. Again, you have to uh, spend some time because there are plenty of videos from various other domains. So you have to keep scrolling and uh, figure out where the literature, English literature videos come in. So there is another link that I've shared with you from IIT Kanpur. So these are links that you may depend on and uh, I'm sure that will be useful for you. Brings us to an end of those resources. Yes, there is one more that I left out. All right, I'm just gonna share another link with you. This is another link that you may find to be useful, especially because if you are in lockdown and you don't have uh, an option to go out and if you're scared to bring in periodicals to your house, fearing the spread of Corona, this is one site that you'll be quite happy with. This is a site called magster.com. Uh, I understand that they give you a one to three month, uh, what do you call, free trial. Uh, I, I hope so. They still continue that. I'm not sure. They give you a one month or three month free trial in which you can have an access to 5,000 plus magazines, newspapers, and so on. If not, don't worry. Pick any magazine, click, click buy, and then they will show a 49 rupee offer wherein you can have subscription for three months by merely paying 49 rupees. So I think that's a decent enough charge for these many magazines. And there are plenty of categories under which they fall. It's not only about newspapers and magazines, it's also about the categories that Maxter brings forward. There is this regional language. For example, if you choose magazines, you have these many categories, lifestyle, automotive, newspaper, celebrity, technology, blah, blah, blah. And uh, you can see that there are various sort of language, I mean, magazines. If you have kids at home, Tinkle is something that you can easily access and uh, make your kids read for a while. So languages, there are plenty of those, English, Hindi, Tamil, Malayalam, for instance, this is uh, the catalog of Malayalam. And uh, if at all you are a Malayali and you read magazines, if you subscribe uh, Maxter at some point of time, there is this magazine that comes under the caravan group called Grihashoba. So if at all you subscribe uh, Maxter, please do go to Grihashoba because I do write a column every month. It's a monthly magazine. I'm a columnist in Grihashoba. But of course, my focus is not on Grihashoba. You can download any number of, I mean, you can have access to any number of journals and the newspapers and articles. For example, English journals, I'm just typing the keyword. You can see a lot of journals which are published and available in this platform. Also books like Pratyogida Darpan, for instance. It's around 75, 80 rupees. And you can read it for free in uh, Max. If you click read now, it takes you to Pratyogira Darpan. Again, I'll show you the new screen in a while. Yeah, 
if you are preparing for competitive exams and uh, even ugc net exam being post graduates this is got to be immensely helpful to you you have previous year question papers current affairs a lot of interesting facts and uh, so many previous year question papers to practice with in uh, uh, pratyogita darpan it's not only about pratyogita darpan uh, for the malayalis out there i can also give you a few more interesting uh, source links here you may easily search if you are on job hunt for instance you may look for magazines like toril vartha or for that sake another magazine is toril vidi yeah toril vidi or uh, books like gk i think that's published by matrabhumi if i remember correctly gk and current affairs it's a malayalam magazine and there is a general knowledge books on various subjects if you are preparing for upsc and psc examinations maxter is such a great savior as far as you all are concerned so please make sure you have access to these things this would be of immense help to you all all right so on that on that positive note i think my references to you somewhat end there and uh, they can be as many references i can provide you uh, routledge editions and oxford critical editions ac bradley harold bloom and so on and on and on i'll be giving you regular editions as we take class from tomorrow i'll be giving you uh, suggestions as to what to look forward to and what to read and what to watch i showed you the youtube links because i understand that not all of you can keep on reading books there are audio visual learners who would benefit a lot by watching rather than reading so that's why i shared those video repositories as well but yes if you come to my classes you will definitely come across a lot of interesting things that these sources yes. may not be otherwise able to bring into your notice i think someone's mic is unmuted please mute your mic all right so adding on to a few more things regarding igni uh, i'm doing this so because otherwise i'll have to get pissed off listening to such questions every day i'd like to tell you all whose mic is on my goodness fine so uh, a few things regarding igno that you need to be aware of academic counselors that is people like me for mg1 mg2 mg3 mg4 so on and on and on there are so many people and from rc coaching i think uh, krishna ma'am is dealing with a paper aishwarya ma'am is dealing with another paper uh, anita ma'am is dealing with mg3 so there might be academic counselors like us who will be interacting with you for these 10 sessions so facts that you need to be aware of is that unlike other places like colleges schools or universities uh, the role and responsibility of a teacher in igno is limited all that we are supposed to do is uh, you know make sure that these academic counseling sessions happen and if we are provided with we have to value assignments generally they will be from the rcc kalur coaching part itself so apart from that we don't have any affairs to do with uh, meg2 or any courses or any academic matters at all and uh, yeah and uh, i'll tell you that don't worry we have a q and a session following very shortly bavita i'll tell you that but before that these are very important please pay attention to this because even though i'd say that i'd like to be interactive and uh, we are a family to be very frank we are all a family and we should get along together have some real fun and learning should happen but at the same time there are certain things that puts me off so i'm trying to keep both of us in good stead so yeah um, when it comes to any affairs apart from the subject that you are learning when i say subject in my case it's mg2 you can ask me how to write an assignment or how to approach a question or uh, is this many you know things enough to write an answer or you can ask uh, do you think shakespeare was wrong in portraying hamlet like this but please keep any administrative questions out of me contact your contact your regional center or study center and they'll be able to answer queries like for instance is there a possibility that the assignment deadlines would be extended is there a possibility that the exam deadlines be extended will the exam happen in june july august or uh, uh, when am i supposed to pay the examination fee will i get a fee exemption or am i eligible for something blah 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 or should i use a a4 size paper or a uh, line the draft paper or should i use a pen or a pencil can i underline with a pencil or can i use a sketch can i post or can i paste pictures 
for all such questions please contact your rc or study center also yes uh, how can i get to know about my marks when will my marks be published or uh, there is a problem in the mark entry i have not received my marks for one paper or uh, i am afraid my marks of the exam has not come i haven't received the certificate or when will the graduation ceremony be held so for any questions like that which are administrative related please 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 contact the rc do not ask me or do not write to me because i won't be able to answer you and also regarding the recording all these sessions are recorded but it's up to the rc to uh, deliver it to you i have no role in the recording part whatsoever i won't be able to give you these you know recorded videos and uh, because of that please don't ask me how to get the recorded video they say that they'll upload it on the rc kochin website wait for that patiently if not keep contacting the coordinator so one advantage that you have so there are few things i'd like to add to what i've said regarding the assignments one advantage that you have in igno is that unlike other places where you have an ma course for 2 years in igno you can complete your course within 5 years for example you have enrolled in 2020 jan you can complete your course by 2025 december you have a 5 year period there is no problem if you complete in 2 years it's much advised and if you complete in 2 years and suppose you, ha you happen to top in terms of your marks you will be awarded with a gold medal which you won't be entitled to if you do it in 5 years if you write your exams at regular point of time in 2 years and complete the course without any supplementary and if you top in terms of the marks you will be awarded with a gold medal and there is also a gold medal from the regional center version so even based on your state you will get medals accordingly state topper district topper etc so that's a good perk for you if you want to do it on a time bound basis even otherwise that's totally fine you have this five year flexibility and regarding the five year flexibility let me make it very simple for you if march 2021 was a time when you had to submit your assignment what happens if you don't submit your assignments okay it's may june doesn't matter the dates are extended till may 31st 2021 what if you don't submit your assignments by may 31st nothing happens if you don't submit your assignment by may 31st you won't be able to write the exam that follows whether it's in june july or august because it's a covid state july august september whenever you won't be able to appear for that exam so what can you do the next cycle would come by say next september september 2021 so by september october 2021 you can submit the assignments and write the exam that comes in december 2021 so again there will be people who would be like okay sir i have submitted mg1 and mg2 assignments now uh, so should i have to wait till december to write the exams no if you you can appear for any exam whose assignments you have submitted for example if you have submitted mg1 and mg2 in this cycle you can apply for the july examination or june july examination and write mag1 and mag2 you may submit mag3 assignment in september and appear for december 2021 exam for mag3 you may submit mag4 assignment by next july or next march and appear for the june 2022 exam for mag4 that's totally fine there is no such cut off so until you complete your 5 years you can do this and once you submit your assignment and once you pass for your assignment a minimum mark is 40 or 35 i think so out of 100 if you get 35 or 40 if you pass for the assignment you need not rewrite that assignment at all please be particular about this for example if you submit this uh, assignment by may 2021 you can write exam whenever you feel like if you pass for the assignment say for example you are writing your assignment in sorry your exam in june 2023 you need not submit the assignment once more the the affair is over you have submitted it you have been awarded the marks just go and write the exam whenever you feel like it's it's a, it's an absolutely customized free system the only thing that you need to mind keep in mind while writing the exam is if you write the exam prepare well and write only if you are confident that you will get good marks because in igno if you don't get good marks blessed are those who fail because if you fail you can rewrite the exam as supplementary exam say you pass you get 45 out of 100 you cannot at all improve your marks 
you get 45 that's it you cannot write an improvement exam in it so if you go for an examination make sure you are well prepared and you can score say the desirable marks the minimum cutoff for becoming a teacher is 55% so make sure you have done enough to get that and go appear for the exam you have 5 years to do that nobody is pushing you to do that yeah so keep that in mind that's what i can say about the assignment part and whether you should use ruled and ruled whether you should have a stick file or whether you should staple it or two in it whichever way you do that they bring it to us we look at it simple as that ha huh. so i think that somewhat sums up today's discussion if you have any queries feel free to ask the q and a session is on the floor is declared open if you have any questions this is the time for that every day we'll have 10 15 minutes for your queries probably regarding the class probably regarding other 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 doubts i'm sharing two links one is of the attendance the other is of uh, what may be called as the whatsapp all right yes please shanil k sabu uh, yes sir uh, i have a doubt is sir I, i don't know if it is uh, related to administer administering or Okay, like I understood. Please. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, my doubt is that if if I am not able to write exam in the coming uh, section, or I am not able to uh, submit the assignment, then you told you uh, I can uh, submit the assignment later and write the exam too. Uh, so yeah. will I, will I uh, will uh, will I have to pay the uh, I mean fees again at that time? You need to pay the fees only once. Why do you want to pay the fees twice? generally the customers that you submit your assignment then the exam link opens and you are paying uh, the fee and enrolling for the exams you can't pay or write the exam without submitting your assignments from what i okay. understand okay sir okay sir that was my doubt thank you sir all right vaishnavi i can see your hands raised yeah sir so, so tomorrow in our session will you be focusing on any one um, one pep one drama So tomorrow can... to get started with i'll be discussing with uh, the beginnings of drama beginnings of theater because that is a basic uh, that's a base from which you should begin if you don't okay. know about the inception there is no point in discussing any plays uh -huh. so tomorrow i'll be i'll be sp speaking to you about the evolution of theater hmm. global theater not only about oh. england not not british drama i'll be talking to you about the evolution and transition of global theater and from the day after onwards i'll start taking plays maybe they uh, dr fosters to begin with then hamlet and so on and on and on okay sir. thank you oh. actually ravi even if you fail in assignments if you have submitted the assignment you can write the exam you will pass the written component probably but then you will have to resubmit the assignment so that you can pass in terms of the certification is concerned i'll keep it a bit more simple say for example uh, you fail in your assignments and for your exam you score say 45 out of 80 which means for the written component you have passed but if you have to receive the certificate you have to get the assignment part better as well so for that what you have to do is you have to resubmit the assignment the rct or the study center would ask you to do that so you have to resubmit the assignment and uh, the evaluator would value and hopefully would pass you that time and then the both the marks would be clubbed and uh, you would be issued a certificate that's how it works and generally people don't fail you unless you have completely copy pasted from some site even then there are people who are benevolent i am one of those cruel monsters who do not let people live if you copy copying is plagiarism and i do i fail you every time every single time in rc kochin if you inquire every year there are at least 20 to 30 people who get zero and get their assignments back stating redo so for those who have copied line by line and if you belong to rc kochin please be aware that immediately too you will get a redo uh, comment attached to it all right doesn't matter there's no word limit it's it's a, it's a uh, it's about answering the question as long as you can answer the question that it's that's enough i had a student called dijo kj dijo kj used to write three pages per question and he used to get 86 marks every single time and when i value 86 to 88 or 89 is the maximum in 100 i don't give 94 95 MEG two and MEG five are two traditional theoretical papers. If you want to score eighty five, eighty six, we have to work that hard. Uh, Smisha Amu, that's why I said, how do you submit your assignments? Contact your study center, regional center. I am not responsible for that. They'll tell you what to do. Due to COVID, they have different different policies. 
they say you can submit online scan the assignment and mail it to this email id or send it via registered post or i'll tell you when the rc opens come and submit so they have different policies ask them they'll tell you what needs to be done yeah anybody else would like to ask something we still have 6 minutes excuse me sir yes afina please sir i had pulled the uh, rc question but they are not attending the course uh, sir what can i do that's why afina i gave you prema i gave you prema ma'am's number dr prema is the course coordinator in uh, rc coaching okay that's her mobile number and she is supposed to pick up so you call her okay. she'll be able to tell you what you need to do from what i understand the re regional center is closed till the 26th of may so they'll open after the 26th and you may be able to submit that's what i believe and just in case she doesn't pick up the call that's her whatsapp number send her a voice note or a message and i'm sure she'll be able to reply okay thank you sir yeah sir uh... yes christina എനിക്ക് ഐ ഡി കാർഡ് കിട്ടിയിട്ടില്ല ഐ ഡി കാർഡ് ഡൗൺലോഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നില്ല ഇമെയിലിൽ പി ഡി എഫ് ഒന്നും വന്നിട്ടില്ല എന്റെ റെസ്പോൺസിബിലിറ്റി but uh, for the question that you have asked me you should get rid of bullets it's high time by ba you should get rid of that being post graduate learners you are expected to write in full paragraph for example if it's an essay an essay consists of a of a format it should have an introduction say five to seven body paragraphs and a conclusion so that's how you should be writing your essay questions no bullets whatsoever how to do assignment marks again contact rc question from what i understand if you log into your id you will have a section where uh, your results would be shown and you can check that keep checking it regularly there may be technical delays as well the moment the counselor awards marks and it get back to rc and they enter it in the website you will get to see that individually nobody else can see your marks anybody else would like to ask something sir Yes, Ajana. Uh, can you suggest any uh, subjects for taking second year? Oh, that's what I said. Sri Devi had posed the same question a little while ago, and uh, I had told her that you have plenty of time. I think till June fifteenth, you have a time. Uh, I'll get back to you at some point of time because we have a jam-packed ten sessions here from today. So, as and when we get time, I'll discuss that in brief. and i think there is an organization who is conducting this uh, talk as well i'll keep you posted that's yet to be finalized so the moment they finalize that with me i'll share the brochure with you so if you want to uh, if you want a detailed description you can come and attend that as well okay sir thank you all right ajana